Hello Internet people. In this video, I'll show you how to make a website for free. And this includes a web hosting, a domain, and also a WordPress theme. After this video, you might have a business website like this, or maybe a fancy store like this. And if you really want to go creative, you can have a blog like this. And there's so much more. All of these are actually free and you can just download them and use the demo content. So by following the steps I'll show you in this video, you can have a website online already today. And the best part, it's free. Arnie, what do you think? It's showtime. Tip Sweat Punch. All right, before I start, I just want to mention that I'm not a big fan of free websites because there's a lot of drawbacks of having one. I would recommend at least getting a really cheap domain so you can own it. If you want to hear more about this topic, just check out the video that will appear on your screen now. I fear that we are at present pointing in the wrong direction. Just check out the video that will appear on your screen now. So let's start by registering a domain with freenom.com. And yes, it still works, so don't worry. It's just weird how it works. And there's a few things you need to click around. Let me show you how to do it. All right. Let's get started by going to Google and then typing in Freenome and then just clicking on the first option, freenome.com. And here, just type in the domain you want. So in my case, it will be punch salad. Ah. Just punch salad. Don't put the um, ending yet. And you can see here that there's some that are not available and some get it now. So let's say I would like this .ga. So then I click on it. And you see not available well that's a bit of a problem the workaround here is you actually need to type in the full domain here so in my case it will be punchsalad.ga and here you already see which ones are available so let's say i would also i would like this gq which is kind of hard but let's say this is what i want you see this one is also available but i'll just use the ga and that's how you make Freenome work. <laughs> and then I'm going to select this one. So click on checkout. And here you see punchsalad.ga. And I'm going to switch the period to 12 months, which is the uh, free period still. Then click on use DNS. And then there's this tab, use your own DNS. And now I'm going to provide you the name servers. I'm going to put them in the description, so don't worry. But just copy this and place it in the first field. And grab the second one and place it in the second field. And then click on continue. And then you need to enter your email. Then click on verify my email. And then it's going to send the verification link to your email. You'll get an email like this one. Arnie, what do you think? You lie! No, no, you'll get it. Just click on the link and you'll see you'll be able to enter your details here. Once you've entered all the details, then just don't forget to check the terms and conditions and then complete the order. And on this page, you are able to go to the client area. So let's go there. You see, hello Robert, that's great. And on this page, if you click on services and my domains, then you need to log in. You'll see that you have registered a domain. And then if you click on manage domain and then manage Freenome DNS and click on edit name servers, you'll see you have these two, which are the correct ones. And now you have a domain name. Wait, wait, wait. You still need a web hosting. Awesome. You've just registered a free domain name. Next, let's register web hosting so they can start actually building the website. So let's then open up Google again and type in infinity free. And then you have infinityfree.net. Click on that one. And here you need to sign up for the web hosting and it's completely free. So let's sign up to, and then create a password. 
uh, and just don't forget to agree to terms and services and then do the recaptcha and then click on create new account then let's create an account on this new web hosting just click here create account on this page we are going to click on the custom domain here type in the, denom the domain you just try to register so pointsalad.ga then click on search and on this page just keep everything as is if you want to add a account password then add it or it's going to generate automatically and then create account now if you see this error message that's normal it takes usually about 15 to 30 minutes for freenom to point the domain to infinity free but it can take even up to 24 hours it really depends so just pause this video and come back a bit later i know you're probably feeling like this disappointed but unfortunately there's no faster way so after a bit of time when you come back just click again on create account and then you should see this page basically it's telling you that you've created the account next click on open control panel and accept this message okay and what you see here is the c panel and cPanel is great because pretty much every whole web hosting company uses cPanel. So once you get to know to this uh, layout, you'll be able to operate on any other web hosting as well. No shit. So let's uh, install the WordPress as first thing. So in the search field, just type in install. And then you see this soft apps installer. Just click on it. It'll open up a new window and then click on WordPress. Just click on the install. These you can keep the same. The directory also, here you can give it another name. So, punch salad test. Uh, but you can always change this later, so don't worry. Then important area here is to create a admin account. And then I'm gonna create a, a password here. And then admin email, just in case. You just need to have it there. You can always change this later, don't worry. Then choose the language you want. For me, English is fine. And in these, you could just install these two plugins as well. Limit login attempts and also classic editor. They're really useful plugins for your WordPress. You have some advanced options, but to be honest, we're not gonna touch those right now. And here, you don't need to select any of these because I don't find them very useful. We're going to install a WordPress theme a bit later. So then just click on install. So this will take a while. All right. Once it's done, just click on this link. And actually, let's open up this one as well. You'll see that the second one I open is your website already. This is just some default theme they have it we're going to change everything here in just a second but it's already live that's really cool. cool all right now we have web hosting and wordpress installed but the website doesn't look that great so next let's install a wordpress theme called astra because it has a lot of starter websites that you can just copy and put it on your website so you have somewhere to start with all right in the other window we open this is your wordpress dashboard and as a first thing, we actually want to install a new theme with some dummy content in it. So all you have to do is come to appearance and then themes. And then you can click on add new. And here in the search box, type in Astra. And you need this Astra, just click on install. And this will take a bit of time. And then once it's done, don't forget to activate it. So here you have a get started guide, but just follow these steps. Let's go to plugins and add new. And here just type in Astra starter. And you'll get this plugin that will have all kinds of starter packages. So mostly it's uh, all kinds of demo content. So let's install this one. And don't forget to activate it. How you doing, Clint? With all due respect, sir, you're beginning to bore the hell out of me. 
All right, and you can see you have here starter templates. So now if you navigate to appearance and click on starter templates, here you need to select your page builder. If you know, don't know which one to use, I would recommend just using Elementor. It's, it's very widely used and it's quite easy to uh, grasp. And there's a lot of tutorials in, on YouTube how to use it. So I'm going to use Elementor. And now this is where you select your themes. Here you can filter out what you want, but in your case probably you want it free. So just select that one and then you can filter even further down, blog, business, e-commerce, whatever you want. So let's say I want to install this theme. I just scroll down here and I have this one, Digital Agency. I'm going to click on that and it will have a little preview of what kind of pages you have there. So about page will look like this. The home page is like this and you have services and also contact. So I'll just import the complete site. Here, if you already imported one, one starter site before, then select the delete previously imported site. But since I don't have anything, you can just keep it unchecked and just check the rest and click on import. Now, this might take a bit of time because it's going to also install some plugins that it needs. So just be patient with this. And even here it says it can take up to 10 minutes for this to finish. So. I'm just gonna pause the video until then. Okay, make it quick because my horse is getting tired. All right, once it's done, you'll get this message that the import is successful. Then just click on view site. And here you see that the domain is what we just created and the website looks awesome. All of this is just demo content, but what you can do is go in and actually update all of this. So you can change the titles, the image, the text, and also just change the order of the blocks and they actually have different blocks for you to use on, on these pages. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. All right, you're pretty much done. Let me just quickly show you where you can start updating stuff on the website so they can change the images and the text so that it, it's something that you want. So let me quickly show you how you can get started with Elementor. So what you can do since, let's say I want to update this to something else, you can just here on the top click on edit with Elementor. This will open up this Elementor, which is just a drag and drop thing where you can update everything while you see the changes live. So let's say I want to change this to something else. My new website. And if you want to update the button, just click on the button and here you see text start now and it updates it. All of this is draggable and also you can drop it somewhere else. So let's say uh, I don't want this to come next. So I can click here on the plus, add a section. And all I need to do is click on this mosaic. And then I have a lot of different elements here that I can add. So let's say I want to add a uh, image box, I just drag and drop it here and you see it creates a new element. Now I can click on it here. I can choose another image like this one, insert media, and then I can update this to whatever I want. So that's just really the basics. You need to really play around with this. Will you do it Arnie? I don't do requests. Come on, I thought you were on my side. Don't forget, whenever you update something, you need to actually click on update here so that it saves everything. And then you probably want to update maybe the header as well. And that's something you don't do in the Elementor, but actually in WordPress. So if you click on the hamburger menu and exit the dashboard, then you can go to appearance and menus. So here, you have top nav and let's say actually services I don't want it for now all I have to do is open it and remove and then save menu so if I go to my website now you can see that services is gone and it actually also shows my new text here and as mentioned you can change the in background image everything you can customize to whatever you want and 
I recommend you watching an Elementor beginners video if you don't know how to use it and I'll link that in the description so you can just go and grab it from there. Arnie, what should we do next? Get to the chopper! And one more thing, let's say you want to create a new page, you go to your WordPress and then pages, add new and let's say this is about us and then edit with Elementor just so you know also you can create a page from a, from a template so here you have some options you can click on this file it'll give you some Elementor library pages or then you can click on this Astra logo you'll see that you can actually choose some of the templates from here so let's say I had the agency one And if I scroll down, I have these templates. I could use it from others also, but then they have a bit different style, so it won't look that good. So here, about us, I could just choose it. Yep, looks good. You can click on Import Template. And now you see all of it has been copied to this page. And if I scroll up, and then if I publish this, and then if I view the page, you can see that it's updated as from the template. So this is another way for very quickly creating new pages from templates, and this way you'll be able to build up your website in within a very short time of period. My name is Robert, and if this is your first time here, and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything here are two videos that i think you should watch next Whoosh.